Okay, so. Audition time. Audition, filming an audition. Here's For ABC. Uh, yes. Oh, my arms yeah. are getting sore from twisting this. Okay, the, the worst thing about the, all the cannons, except that cannon, is the battery is on the bottom. So you have to untwist the whole entire tripod just to get the, the battery's right oh, here. Oh, the battery. The card you can put in. It's right here. But and that's not. And by the way, I do need a card. I forgot. Oh, to okay. Yeah. So yes. we're kind of getting set up. Yes, we can. And then the we're going to talk a little bit um, about, about how about how Mr. how Fiona started into acting and so on because people have asked for that. So I want to tell you guys one thing before we start filming. This it usually kind of like wears off. Like there, it's like completely nude, but it's like really good undertoned for like it's like natural yeah you just try to do natural makeup yeah and it's like not glossy or auditions. matte it's not matte at all by the way it says it's matte but it isn't um okay it's a revlon matte not um revlon hd color matte lip color and it's in the color nude such a creative name guys and it's really good this is what i always wear for auditions because it is nothing it is nothing but it's perfect Hey everybody, I am Fiona Frills and I am 12 years old. Hello! It's me. You're looking for... Hello! <laughs> yes, so, hey guys! So, so we filmed, uh, I think we filmed her audition. Yes. That you did for, it was an ABC pilot audition. For yes. CESD, so... And um, we actually thought of this idea a long time ago, probably like a month ago, and we yeah. haven't gone around to doing it, but now we're doing it. It is a How I Got Into Acting. So I'm going to just first start out that I never really, like, ever since I was, like, two years old, I never really cared about being an actor. I never thought about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just kind of tumbled never, together. Yeah. It was never like, I'm like, oh, my God, my dream is to be, you know, uh, an actor. It was actually to be a veterinarian, but I'm terrified of blood. Like, if my mom's feeder bleeds, my feeders? No. Yes, Finger yes. bleeds. I'm like, ah. Yeah, I yeah. hate blood. So yeah. So, and all that stuff. Yeah, so there was no ever intention. No. It was never, never it, I was just like, all these things sort of tumbled into place to yeah. kind of, um, bring us to this point. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, I mean, the first um, is that um, I did have an active wear business. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. And it was ever since Fiona was, was born. born. I think you, like, you had just started it. Yep. And um, there was a, 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 what do you want to say? A, a kid's line yeah. as part of it. And so Fiona did a lot of modeling. So she was used yeah. to being in front of the camera. It's not like she liked being in no. front of the camera. I a lot was of always times like, I don't want to do this. It's cold. Yeah, or to have to bribe her, yeah. but she she understood how to work with a photographer from a very young age. Yeah, uh -huh. and that was Steve. He's our really good friend. He teaches us oh, all he's the about one, the camera stuff. Oh my god, I've known him for oh, such a long time. Yeah, he's Steve so he's amazing. amazing. He yeah. really is. Yeah. Um, but um, what was I also gonna say about that? So so I know. And then the other one is that um, you still always were filming yourself. Yeah, I always on film your, myself on her, on her MacBook. Yeah, book. and I. Don't remember this like my mom was showing me we'll videos. have to show you yeah, the, videos. they're so funny and I'm like hello everybody so I'm gonna be editing this so sorry if this is like five minutes long uh, I edited a whole bunch of it and I was yeah and, and I just do like duct tape, duct tape and like lip balm and I was making a lip balm container out of two bottle caps it is the most hideous oh my god I still have that I, yeah I, I still have it that. is so hilarious so yeah. she was always just kind of naturally just kind yeah, of I like camera. Being being camera. Camera. yeah it's just something that sort of happened um and then I think the big thing was um when you were okay Fiona struggled with school and you can yeah. you know she always talks about struggling I'm legally, with reading. I'm legally blind in one of my eyes and just think of kind of opening your eyes underwater that's kind of what I see in one eye yeah and we didn't it's know horrible. for a long time what was going on we knew what was going on and I was trying to figure it out um, and so you really, I just struggled so much and, and hated wait, school. Wait, I had, went to a pub, uh, no, not public, private school. Yeah. And it was a horrible experience. Yeah. But I mean, it brought me to this point. I wouldn't be here without it, but yeah. I, I, whenever I think of the name of it, yeah. I'm not going to say it, but it always makes me cringe. Me and my friend Lily, we are, you guys have seen her before. Um, we both share the same thing. We love to rip stuff from that school because we yeah. had such a horrible experience. Yeah. I mean, it's just you know, just a very um, difficult time. But I finally, it took a, a while yeah. to finally figure out, and who knows why it would, you know, it broke my heart to finally realize that it was just your eye. But it's, it's uh, this whole thing about eye And I'm dyslexic and stuff. as well. Yeah, and so so I decided that the best thing to do was to homeschool. And yeah. Fiona, and this was this was for, for fourth grade, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And so, um, 
Yeah, and so she did not want to hold it. No, oh my I gosh, she just, oh my god. But I was trying to come up with creative things yeah. that we could do. And I want to say one thing. When I was at the school, I, whenever I got, my mom pulled into our driveway. I'm like pointing where it's right there. Yeah, yeah. And oh I pulled in and I ran through. There's like a few little steps on our um, porch, porch. And I sprinted and I flipped this. I couldn't handle it because it looks like kind of ugly. It's not yeah, like it's, a, it's like a little puffy and, and I hated yeah, it. Yeah. And I, same with my bed. My room was disgusting and I don't know. Yeah, I mean just she just had all these little, like, it's AD, ADD almost. Yeah, or OCD. Wasn't. It was like she was on the verge of all these strange things and so I was like, you know, And I had to measure my parents' bed. It was awful. Yeah. Like that's how bad. It was really but quite a difficult time. Yeah, you were time. like in you were saying so yeah, so then, so then, you know, we started homeschooling, and then I was trying to come up with creative things, and yes. she was kind of like getting into like a little bit more fashionable because even before that, she would like wear the same thing because something would bug her or whatever. Yeah. And so I was like, well, it still bugs me you know, to, to this day. But I'm like wearing something like that's not the com most comfortable still, so it yeah. doesn't matter. So I said, well, I would um, pay, or we could use one of our. The photographers that I know that I had for my business yeah. and I would buy you know she could pick out her wardrobe and she could design like a photo shoot and um, and I said and if if we like it or you want I will submit to agencies in San Francisco and I had a, kind of also somebody who else who modeled for me um, sort of gave me some a few contacts and some ideas and I said oh okay well I'll just give it a try mm -hmm. and so I sent them off to the agent once we did yeah. it and so we submitted probably to like six agencies I actually quite remember that we were like making my resumes and everything it was really fun and I remember we submitted probably like two days after I heard from one they ought they had a job for me so right. um of course we took it we were only with them for probably like two months I think I only signed the contract for um 90 days yeah I signed only and a 90 how, day that's probably because then she had there. gotten calls from two other agencies and yes. you met with one yeah and you didn't really like it and then we met I with Marla Dow it was a, she it was um I hate to say it, but she was a little older woman Oh, remember? I remember she she reminded me of a palm reader. Like just like really in depth like a, in your brain. She's like going in and I'm like, just no. Yeah, and I remember the match. I mean, it's always and she's like, to and have a she match. has like bad eyes and stuff. Oh that's yeah. Oh my god. I forgot about that. She had like some kind of surgery that she didn't she has to have sunglasses. Oh my god, I forgot about that. You're right. So anyway, so then you met with Marla Dow. Yeah. You met with um Olivia and Nicole. They and were they so Sweet! Oh my God, they yeah. are the cutest. And we're still with Marla Dell today. Yeah, they're not there. You know, there's new agents that sometimes happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so you have Marla Dell, and then I remember soon after that, you that was like the first. Um, your, what was it? Your first talking role was yeah. with that Intel. Yeah, we did that, that was in so San amazing. Francisco, yeah. and that was kind of like the one where she really. You know, she was kind of like the lead child, and you kind of... Um, it was really fun. Yeah, and I think it just really boosted her confidence, because I think she was always worried about reading and scripts, which still is kind no, of a struggle. Yeah, definitely. So, um... This, oh, and by the way, the reason why I, um... Another great reason why I love homeschooling is because my baby Nono. Yeah. I know, didn't you? Oh, and she I got, got him. And she got him in third grade because that was the year we were doing all this testing yeah. and trying to He's figure out what was going on, and why she was struggling. Yeah. And so she got the cat. No, you don't love me. Yeah. Ugh. So um. So then yeah. So then we had the San Francisco agent, mm -hmm. and then I was like, well, are you? Kind of interested in yeah. Well, no, LA. We, we did an acting class. Remember the acting class? Oh yes, with so, that, with yeah, yes. that was in San Jose. And it was like a deal. We got a deal on it, and we met some like Monique. Oh yeah, that was the, that was for LA. Oh, and that was that was the one that yeah. we I got. That was then we we, did, we we drove down there. That was my my first memorable yes. time in LA. Yeah. Well, I mean, we fun. can say what that was. I mean, the, the San Jose, San Jose one was earlier one. This yeah. was like a later once we started to think that maybe LA was a good idea, and so it's called TVI. Actors or actors studio or something like that. And we met. I know Momi is over here, like yeah. whatever he is. You know, yeah. he's a cat. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about us. So, and that's where um, it was a week long um, class. And then we performed in front of a bunch of agencies and and also Disney executives. You know what I thought? I think I actually met one of them in the meet in one meeting that I went to, and I think it was the same one. Wow. I think it was. I kind of remember him. Yeah, interesting. So yeah, yeah. Interesting. Anyhow, I felt like bringing Yeah, up. and so anyway, so it was a week long, you know, acting acting, and you remember you got a script and you were partnered. That's yeah. when we were partnered with Cole. Cole. And then, yes, um, that was really fun. And then, 
from that, you know, if the agents were interested, they would call. Yeah, and they and about probably like two weeks later, um, Sovereign Ca Talent Group called me. Yep. And we were so excited. I remember like, oh my god! And um, they yeah. wanted me. I went up down. I went down again because we were here, and we went down again. And um, we met with them. She was really serious at first because most people are very serious at first, so you don't get like a whole bunch of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I we were th with them for like. Almost a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then, then we were at VidCon. Yeah. No, 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 wait, wait, you have to go back. I'm sorry. What? You what? have to go back and say, when we went to LA, we did a photo, this was our first oh, kind of time yes, of spending time there. We spent a okay. lot of time there. And I, it was one thing I had submitted because we were we hadn't quite gotten your headshots and so, um, Sovereign wasn't quite submitting you, and so I was doing it on um, SF Casting, which I will put a link down below yeah. to all like the casting sites where you can kind of sign up yourself and just start seeing kind of the activity that happens. Yeah. Um, and so the it was with it was, LA Casting, yeah, and it was the first her first audition in LA. Yeah, and I don't want to confuse you guys. There's LA Casting, there's San Francisco Casting, and I'm sure there's New York Casting. Yeah. Anyway. But anyway, so on LA Casting was the first one, and it ended up being for Maker Studio. Studio, and she actually was the first one. She got the job, and it was yeah. with Maker Studio. And my mom sent them my um, channel, and I had probably like 200 subscribers then, and they wanted me in their group, and, and then network. and then that was my network, and I'm still with them to this day, yeah. and they're. And right around that time, just a little bit before that, Disney bought Maker Studio. Yeah, exactly. And so that's, that's kind of where Disney. all the Disney kind of connection also happens. Yeah. And so then, um, yeah, then we were with Sovereign. I mean, Fiona got, you know, a decent amount of jobs and, yeah. and, and such. And we spent, you know, we obviously spent a decent amount of time in L.A. Yeah. And um, then we were at VidCon. This was yes. our second VidCon yeah. this summer. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet a bunch of cool people in my life. But... Um, I got, I was walking around, we were in like a little ball pit, we were like playing around and stuff. Who was that? That was Instagram. Yeah, that was because Instagram's had booth. Yeah, yeah, they had like a new emoji. I like the hashtag emojis, I do that all the time. I think we have, we can, if we remember, we'll try to link that yeah, video. Yeah, it was there. really fun. And, um, right across from it does Maker Studio, so I was like, hey, hey everybody, hey everybody, and, because I know a lot of them, so I just walk over there all the time, and, um, they're really sweet, and then there was like two Disney executives, and then there was like one or no, there was two from, from CESD. Nick was one of them. Yeah, yeah. Nick and um, Andy. Oh yeah, no, Andy's with Disney. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind then. Um, but anyway. But yeah, anywho, we met them, and they're like, oh, I really like your look, and they and we took their card, and then we emailed them like probably like two days, maybe a week later. Yeah. They wanted to meet with me, and then now that's my agency down there. And, and then that's how you met with, you know, Disney, you see all the I, Disney that's, that's things, like all the Disney, Disney stuff things stuff and meetings and so on. And then, um, yeah. yeah, and that's kind of kind of where we're at. I mean, it's always like a little hit or miss yeah. um, when we sure. get auditions. And sometimes, you know, Fiona isn't always always wanting all the auditions. So sometimes yeah. we don't go to all auditions yeah, in L.A. Yeah, because um, I had two voiceover ones last night and I'm like I'm really not feeling the character it was like a vampire thingy yeah it was for like a little kid or not little but like yeah, I don't yeah. know I didn't feel it so I didn't and then um yeah I mean and then I know the one thing with CESD we get to do a lot of self-taped auditions yeah, and that's, that's mostly for theatrical but for anything for commercials we go down there well you have to go down but commercials don't Downplay commercials. Yeah. Okay. The the ones that are in the union. The SAG. The SAG mm -hmm. commercials can pay more than a TV show. So just so you know, yeah. it's not like yeah. like people are like you know not like like commercials are just as good as TV shows. Yeah. By yeah. the way. Yeah. So that is kind of our story of how yeah. it's happening. We'll just try to we'll put links down. Yeah. And I'll try stuff. to also. Um, I can put even links of some of the agencies mm -hmm. just in the Bay Area as well as LA and um, yeah comment down below if you have some questions or ideas yeah. or or you know what I mean we could even do like a little uh, Q&A yeah Q&A so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog okay yeah bye, bye. bye.